I mean, let me say, the, the, the Esther has been a very difficult one. I mean, I've been a member of parliament. I've been involved with our party. I mean, right from 1992 when it started, I've been involved in almost every registration exercise. Myself, I've, I've, I've been a returning officer for electoral commission in early 19, uh, I think the 1995 uh, register. This divis divisive tendency, I've never seen any, any of that kind. Because look, you have electoral officers that, that were biased even before they got to the station. Someone comes to tell you, I'm from this place. And you, the electoral officer, you are challenging that no, you are not from here. I've never seen that. And you see the number of challenges. Over 1,200 people were challenged here alone. Fortunately, we went to a tribunal. They've been able to uh, receive their cars. With the assumption of just some few people, I'm sure the, the cars that are left for people to be able to come. Because obviously, people are working. They have to try to make arrangements to go and collect it. We are sure what will be left. I don't think it will be up to even 150 left. Almost everybody had collected, and like we said, we succeeded in making sure that those minors, those who were not resident here, were able to prove it because our team was excellent. I mean, you say you are from, say, house number 25 block 8. We go there, we have people in the house to come and testify that you don't live there. So we were able to get 26 of them taken off the, the register in Aswansi. And I commend our, our team. It's been very difficult. Generally, the Electoral Commission, if for nothing, in this uh, Aswansi, they were terribly biased. Terribly, terrible. I mean, I really wish we have time to go through the, the, the registration, pulling station by pulling station. You won't believe it. Almost all the time, they, they structured the registration side that you have two electoral areas happening at the same time. And coincidentally, one will be like predominantly known NDC area, and one could be NPP known area. And you could see, in a day, they do 230 in a polling station, and at the other end, they do 64. People sometimes queue three days before it gets to your turn to, to, to register. And initially, let me say, the police, some of them were just so unprofessional. They just come and tell you, oh, they just come, uh -huh, uh -huh, why, uh, why, who? They say, him, hey, then they arrest him. Without any cause, we have to go get the person bill and all that. You will have expected that most of our agents, I mean, how do you come to the police station and arrest my agent? You would have expected that many of them, their spirit will be down. But believe me, there, I mean, there were these three guys who were arrested the evening from Akutia line for assisting, they were agents. And people can say, oh, so let me, because the police was being slowed down, let me assist you by writing all your things. So when you get to the officer, it will be fast. They have came and arrested them. We did everything. They slept over the, the, the cells. The next morning, they said they were writing to the EC region to find out. They said, no. In fact, we ourselves have recommended that people should go onto our website, get to know the question that will be asked them, so that they can write it. So that's not uh, affecting the, that's not against the process. They release them. Look, I mean, when I even say it now, I, I'm almost to tears. Look, these guys came. I said, look, you've had an ordeal, terrible night in a cell. Go and rest. They said, no, I'm going back to my police station. And they went and continued their work. What else can I say to just that person? even not to thank the person immediately, that what they've done, we, we really appreciate it. So the essence of all this is to thank them. Generally, I would say the exercise is generally good for Swansea. I mean, you, you would not believe it. It was so divisive that they pay people from the same area. I know you, you know me. And then they say, oh, I'm challenging. On what grounds? Uh, you are not from here. And let me give you a tip, guys, on one of your colleagues, Ishola. Ishola, the Zuri FM. Yeah. Who in this city doesn't know Ishola? Everybody in this city knows Ishola. We know his father. In fact, I know even his grandparents. I know his mother. I know all his. And you have an MPP agent who goes to challenge Ishola that he's not a Ghanaian. What can be more divisive than this? Though, when that happened, the tension that it almost raised in this community. But we kept telling them, look, we know why they are doing this. They are doing this so that they'll be violent and then the process will stop. We beg you. It's a simple process. The person said, I'm not a Ghanaian. Even me as an MP, I can be challenged. Someone can come and challenge me that I, the city MP, is not a Ghanaian. But when we get to the tribunal, it will be him or her who will have to prove, not me. So I don't have anything to worry. If it is the convenience or the inconvenience of getting you there, your friend, 
we will provide buses that will collect people to the tribunal and collect them back. And to the extent, I mean, my executives are here. We have to feed people to be able to take them there. So imagine, and I mean, TV3, many of you did the video, you saw it. You saw the anger in those people because the, the anger was not because they were challenged, but those who challenged them. You know me and I know you. And today, because of registration exercise, you say because of your party, you deliberately say, I should go through this frustration. I can tell you there have been so deep division in, in our community. And I, I can tell you that it's across the country. Because if you look at what's happening in Voto already, if you look at what's happening in Banda, look at what's happening in uh, uh, Kasua, our country's area, nothing can describe this register than being a divisive register. It has divided us more. And I believe they've only created the sword that they are going to fall in. Because you see, for example, when you come to Ababo Bola Bola and you are challenging blindly, I know a lot of people in Abola Bola who are MPP, and you are challenging so blindly that to the extent that you are challenging your own. And many of them are like, honorable, I'm assuring you, I've never voted for you. But because of what they did, now you've assisted me to get my card. I will teach them a lesson. What can be more divisive than this? So this register, believe me, for a constituency like ours, for almost 1,200 people to go to tribunal, clearly what else can be more divisive than this process? It's been very divisive. It's been very, very, very intimidating. The use of, I mean, we had cameras in every police station to be recording any incident. That's, I believe, what some of the things that, that helped. Maybe we need to invest more in recording what's happening in almost every incident. People were saying that, oh, why not report all the incidents? Ah, look, we've reported seven concrete cases with video every police didn't act. So I just told my people, crime doesn't expire. Let's just keep a library of them. At the appropriate time, we deal with that because I can see that during the exercise they were not interested in uh, 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 dealing the, with, with, the, with the challenges that were coming up.